Hello, welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour, we're going to be learning some basic English vocabulary to talk about and identify in English household equipment. We'll be doing this by doing some different types of exercises, fill in the blank, mix and match as well as looking at pictures. And uh, furthermore, we'll be looking at some of the vocabulary, the verbs, phrasal verbs that we use to talk about using household equipment and uh, some of the collocations that happen, uh, the words that are used together or phrasing Again, for talking about normal household stuff you have in your home in English. Okay. Uh, welcome to the class. Hello, Alexander. How are you? Hello, Alexander. Are you there? Can't, can't hear you. Hello, hello, oh, hello. there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, great. I'm not I forgot to, to uh, Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, Alexander. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Hi. All right. Uh, and hello, Patricia. Hi there. Hi, Patricia. Hello. 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 Hi. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Hey, uh, you're welcome. Hey, did you guys have any problems getting onto Verbling just before the class, Patricia or Alexander? Oh no, no, recently. No. It's very okay. Very okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I couldn't open the Verbling what website until like one minute before class. Okay. Okay, you're no problem. Okay, just me, I it guess. Yeah, uh, I I had uh, kind of those this problem uh, maybe. Uh, for months, but then I uh, I wrote to support, and uh, after a couple of days, uh, it was fixed. Okay. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I'm here. Everything's working fine. So, all right. Let's proceed. Hello, Raphael. How are you? Uh, hi, Play. I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to have you with us. And uh, hello, Olga. Hi, Olga. Welcome to the class. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, all right, let's get started. I'm going to do a screen share here. We're going to try a little identification of various domestic or household equipment, electronic stuff you have in your house. All right, so let's see what you guys know. Or let's see how good these pictures are. All these pictures look the same to me. Oh my gosh. What are these things? Uh, things in the bathroom, other equipment around the house, plugs and other stuff. Okay, we have lots of things to identify in the first half of our class. So let's get started. Uh, Alexander, oh, number one, what is this thing here? Do you think? Hmm. Uh. Uh, okay, it's uh, uh, amplifier, or maybe it's uh, an amplifier or cassette deck, video, v VHS, maybe. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is a VHS. This is an ancient device that uh, cavemen used to watch movies before uh, the advent. <laughs> of the DVD player or more often than not now you can just plug in a <laughs> plug I something in. you have one all right yeah, great I don't, don't use it of course right it's somewhere okay. in dark place <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah if you have a VHS player uh, dust. yeah it's probably collecting dust somewhere exactly good phrase to use no doubt it's collecting dust. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, okay, Patricia, how about number two? What do you think 
this thing probably is. Mm -hmm. Looking up here, so we've already got this one off. We already identified this one, so. TV player? No, TV player. Probably, yes, probably is. Probably is a probably. CD player. Yeah, it's a terrible drawing, but okay. Very good. Do you, do you have a CD player, Patricia? Uh, no, no more. Not anymore? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ancient devices. Uh, okay. Uh, Raphael, what do you think number three is? It's a speaker. It is a speaker. Um, also, sometimes in English we call it an amplifier uh, because that's what it does. It amplifies sound. Now, of course, we when we listen to music at home, Sure, they're just speakers, but when we play guitar, for example, you have a speaker for your guitar, M might m more commonly call it an amplifier. All right. Uh, Raphael, do you have uh, big, booming, powerful speakers in your house or in your car? Mm, not powerful, uh, yeah. but I have good ones inside my bedroom. And I uh, sometimes yeah. I like to uh, to listen to loud music. Right on. As long as it do doesn't bother my uh, neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see. I live in the Philippines. It doesn't matter. You're allowed to bother your neighbors. There are no laws about how loud you are here. So you can do whatever you want. I can play music as loud as I want to. Yeah. It's Yay. like the same in Brazil. Yeah. But uh, I don't like to bother my, my neighbors, although they bother me. Yeah. Yeah, nobody cares here. My 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 neighbors just got done with a four-day birthday party. I swear to you, they had a karaoke machine with really loud speakers, and they were singing. They started this morning. It's five in the morning. Woke me up. And they it is an entire family of horrible singers. So I got to hear some Eagles this morning. Started my day with the Eagles, the most horrible singers you ever heard in your life. They they don't care here. Uh, okay, moving on. Olga, number four. This is a cassette deck, I think. Or was a cassette deck? Of course, these are primitive uh, machines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you still have a cassette deck? Okay. Yeah, I ha no, not now, but I had uh, when I was young. <laughs> yeah, okay. Gosh, I haven't even seen a cassette in so long. Do you still have any old cassettes kicking around your house? No. No? Not at all? <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't even seen a cassette in ages. Okay. Uh, Hajar, ha hello, Hajar, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, okay, Hajar, what's this thing? What's this primitive caveman device? It's a video DVD player. No, it is not. <laughs> you are young, Hajar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, most certainly it's it is It's a player. No, it is not. Uh... It's much bigger. This this thing is, uh, it's hard to tell from the picture, but this is probably, oh, I don't know, 20 centimeters across, much bigger than a CD. Oh. Yeah, and you pick up this arm here, and there's a needle, an actual needle, on the end of this arm, and you set the arm down on a record made of vinyl, and it spins around and it plays music. So, uh, the turn the table. It's a turntable. That's right, turntable. Uh, yes, it's a turntable. We used to listen to music this way a long time ago, and actually, I really like listening to vinyl. Uh, I like the way it sounds, frankly. Many would disagree with me, but I enjoy 
You only see this now in a nightclub with somebody scratching it. <laughs> right? But uh, we actually used to listen to them. Listen to music using a turntable. All right. Uh, okay. And last one, Alexandra. Uh, headphones. Of course. Now we were all using these still. Um, headphones. Okay. A quick note here. Headphones and turntable. These last couple we've looked at. These are called compound nouns. They are nouns made from two words. So we will pronounce them with a high, high, high tone, high pitch stress in the first word and a low pitch or low stress, secondary stress in the second word. So headphones, headphones, turntable, cassette deck, like that. Okay, uh, we're going to go... We're going to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> Not literally, but on our page. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, Miguel. Welcome to the class. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Welcome. Uh, okay, let's look at some more devices here. Miguel, I'll come back to you in just a second. Uh, yeah. All right. Patricia, number seven. What's this thing? Is it a spaceship? Is it a ro um, robot? Uh, electric shower, shaver, razor. Electric shaver, a, a sound. Razor. Yeah, razor. And razor. razor. All right. Razor. It's an uh, razor. R R sound. Okay. Electric razor. Electric or electric shaver. Razor. Shaver yep. razor. That's it. Now you got it. Very good. Uh, okay, uh, very good. Um, yeah, this is a uh, men use it to shave with, I suppose. Women could too, I guess. All right, very good. Uh, Raphael, how about number eight here? Uh, it's a electric toothbrush. Excellent. Do you use an electric toothbrush or do you use the manual style? No, manual. <laughs> I think I wouldn't like to use it. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm with you. I don't like electric toothbrushes. No, just, not necessary. Yeah, it seems silly to me. What, I can't move my hand back and forth? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm with you. I, I don't really like electric toothbrushes. Uh, okay. Uh, Olga, how about uh, number nine? Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. And here again, toothbrush. Hair dryer. Here again, uh, we see a number of compound nouns. One word or even two word compound nouns. Uh, electric shaver. Is it a two word compound noun? Toothbrush, one word compound noun. All right, do you, uh, Olga, do you usually use a uh, hair dryer? Yes, I use every day. Every day? I haven't yeah. used one in about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. I live in the Philippines. You take a bath, you go outside, your hair's dry in about two minutes. <laughs> Faster than a hair dryer. Uh, okay. Uh, Hajar, Let's, we're going on to other equipment in the house, some other stuff you may have in your house. Hajar, what is this, number 10? Mm. Hajar, you there? Do you know what this one is? It goes whoosh, whoosh. Hajar, are you there? Yes. Okay, what's this device here? It's a fan. It's a fan. It's an ele or electric fan. We commonly called it. Called it because 
there are hand fans. There's simple fans we can use with our hand. Um, this is an electric fan. Uh, Ajar, do you have any electric fans at your house? Uh, not like this. No? Do you have different style? Are they, where are they? On a desk? On the ceiling? Hello? Ajar? Hello? Yes? Do you, do you have a fan on your ceiling? Uh, yes. Okay. Then uh, we, don't, we would not call that an electric fan. We would call that a ceiling fan. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but we have many fans. My, here in my house, I think we have three, maybe four. A lot of fans in my house. Uh, okay, Miguel, how about number 11? What's this thing? This is an iron. Yes, it is an iron. Um, sometimes called electric iron. Do you actually iron your clothes, Miguel? Sorry? Do you iron your clothes? Uh, yes. No, I, I not. My, my mother. My mother do. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you for being honest. All right. Your your mother does it. All right. And the verb that we use, you use an iron to iron your clothes. I'm ironing my clothes. All right. So the verb we use is also iron. Iron. Okay. All right. I never iron my clothes. <laughs> Jose, Ooh, number 12, what's this thing here? Hi, Jose, by the way. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, number 12, uh, video camera. Video sure. camera. That's right. It certainly is. Do you have a video camera? Yes, I, I have uh, a video camera. You do? <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. What do you like to shoot? With your video camera, uh, I I I can I can record the record image. Yes. Okay. You record images. Yes. I just I, I wanted to record images. Okay. We you shoot something with a camera. Okay. Whether that's a still. Yes. Pictures or, or video cameras, you shoot a film, all right? In okay. Hollywood, they shoot many films. That's the verb we often use. Shoot. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, you shoot a film. So do you usually you film your family, your friends, like that? Yes, yes. Special I shoot my, my, my family, my friends. Okay. Uh, all right. Or obviously you can use video. I video or I videotape my family and my friends. All right. Uh, Alexander, back to you. Number 13. It's R2-D2. No. Uh, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Don't, don't miss your va va vs vacuum, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum yeah. cleaner. All right. You have a, you have a vacuum cleaner? Uh, yes, of course. Uh-huh. Do you ever do the vacuuming? Uh, yeah, a couple times uh, <laughs> in, in, in a week. A couple times a week, all right. A couple times. Yeah. Couple, we'd say a couple times a week couple I vacuum times. the floor. Yeah, yeah, a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, all right, you vacuum the floor. I have a vacuum cleaner. I don't even know why. All my floors are, are tile. <laughs> I don't have any carpets in my entire house, but I have a vacuum cleaner. Don't even know why, really. Okay. Uh, next one, Patricia. What is this torture device? Um, I can't. Um, that's uh, okay. Sewing. <coughs> Sewing machine. Sewing. Machines to sew mm. sounds just like S O S E W is uh sounds exactly like just S O they're homonyms 
homonyms or words yeah. that sound exactly the same. So it's a sewing machine. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Okay, excellent. That's perfect. And do you ever use a sewing machine, Patricia? Oh, yes. yes really? I like. Yes. You do? I, yes, I, I, yeah, yes. I have. You one. have it and you use it? Okay. Yes, I use my uh, sewing machine is very, very old. Oh, really? Yes. Is, is it electric? Um, yes. Yeah. Electric and um, manual. Okay. My grandmother had the kind that you push with a pedal on the floor. I still remember that. Uh -huh. She still used it too. Up until the day she died, she still used it, and it worked fine. By the way, I, I seriously think it was like manufactured in like 1910 or something like that, and it worked perfectly fine. Hundred years later, now everything you buy, of course, is going to break down in two years. Just goes to show you. All right, speaking about electric. Uh, let's look at plugs and things associated with electricity uh, what and what they're called. Raphael, uh, number 15, what is this thing here? Here, here, here? Okay, I'll try to guess because I have no idea. It's a... Uh, Socket? No. You're no. going to you're going to use this to adjust. For example, I have one looks very much like the picture on my air conditioner. So if I want to adjust the fan strength or the temperature, I'll move this thing around in a in a circle. So I, you use it to adjust things. Probably have mm -hmm. one on a dryer or washing machine maybe to set the time probably have one on the stove to adjust the temperature okay is it a knob it's a knob or a dial sometimes we say a dial depending on where it is um, we we can always say knob but it often we say dial especially if it's like for volume or on your radio or any kind of sound system we we call it a dial turn up the dial I love this song uh, or I turn the find another radio station this radio station is terrible turn the dial then we often call it a dial in that case uh, okay Olga number 16 okay number 16 is a battery of course how many volts? I don't know. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Probably. I don't think so. Looks like I a nine, looks like a nine volt battery to me. If I'm just I'm just guessing, but just by the look of it, I'm guessing nine volt. Totally a guess. Okay. Do you have uh, uh, do you have batteries in your house somewhere yes. in a drawer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have old batteries kicking around your house? <laughs> you don't know why you have them? <laughs> no, I always put in the uh, recycle uh, container. Okay, so, good for you. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good, good job. Proud of you. All right. Uh, all right. Hajar, what's this thing, number 17? Ajar? Yeah, I think is a extension lead. Extension lead, yes. Uh, extension lead, yes. A little bit more British. Uh, Americans would pretty much always call this an extension cord. Okay, uh, extension cord. You would hear it for Americans, uh, definitely. Okay. All right, simple enough. Uh, all right, 
Miguel, let's take a look at the next one. 18. The next, the next one, I think that is a switch. Yeah. What do you do with a switch? This is this is to turn out turn on the the lights sure. of the room or the living room or the whatever room. Right. Okay. Right. Turn on the light switch. Uh, now, uh, Americans say turn on the lights, turn off the lights. British tend to use switch on or switch off the lights. Um, okay. Uh, Americans use turn on, turn off, for, turn on the air conditioner, turn on the TV, turn on the lights. We use turn on, turn off for pretty much everything. Um, okay. When I when I came to the Philippines, they say open the lights. They say open the open the TV, which I had no idea what that meant when I first heard it. What do you mean open them? How can I open them? <laughs> Give me a screwdriver. I'll open them. Uh, okay, but yes, this is a switch or a, a light switch, um, light. perhaps. Okay, there's other kinds of switches, of course, which usually involve maybe they're different. Maybe there there may be a switch that you change railroad tracks in a railroad station. All right, hit the switch and train change tracks. Okay, which would of course be a totally different size and would look completely different. But uh, there's definitely different kinds of switches. Uh, okay, uh, moving along. Uh, Jose, what's this thing yes. here? Socket. Socket. Right. Oh. Okay. What do you do with a socket? Socket. Uh, I I can plug. No. Plug. Yes, plug uh, any plug plug some devices. Yeah, you can plug something in. In fact, uh, our next little picture here. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, Ming. Hi, Ming. Hi. Welcome to the class. How are you? Hi, Ming. Hi. Hi, Ming. What is this thing? Number twenty. Um, it's a plug. It's a plug, of course. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So we plug. We plug the plug. Plug in the plug. That's the verb into this into the socket. Uh, Americans also call this an outlet. All right, the ones that run along, that are in the walls, those are an outlet. Just plug it into the outlet over there. Outlet. Electric or, again, electrical outlet. Okay, very good. All right. Have you, Ming, Ming, have you ever had to replace a plug on one of your electrical devices? Have you ever had to... Had to wire a new plug onto a lamp, for example. Yes. Yes. All right. So you, you are, you've got some home skills. <laughs> okay. Let's look at some of the verbs here. Uh, Using the correct form of the verbs, you have to consider your verb tense in this next exercise. We're going to use some of these verbs uh, in these sentences. This. This is uh, this first exercise we're looking at is in the form of a dialogue, so two people talking. Uh, Max, hello, welcome to the class. Max, hello. hi there. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. All right, using these words, these verbs here. Uh, go ahead and read number one. Do you know how this machine work? All you do is just push this red button and it starts automatically. <laughs> red button? How do you know it's red? <laughs> okay. Okay. Red buttons. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Okay. First of all, little mistake in the in the question part. Do you know how this machine one thing works? Works. 
Yes. Okay. The machine works by plugging it in. All right. Subject verb agreement. Singular subject. We need the plural verb. Right. All you do is just press this button. All right. You press a button or you push a button. Could be either. Uh, all right, Alexander, back to you. Where's the lead? Huh? Where's the lead for the CD player? The lead. Oh. Oh, the lead. Yeah, lead. It runs on batteries. There is no lead. Okay, it runs on batteries. So it runs on, we're saying that it uses something for fuel. It runs on batteries, uh, it runs on electricity, it runs on gas, it runs on diesel. So we use runs on, actually runs with on, to talk about what something is uses for power. Um, there's no lead. This is very British. Where's the lead for this? In fact, I would be confused if somebody said this to me. I would say, huh? Because I'm an American, I would say, where's the plug? Where's the plug for this? Uh, or where's the wire for this? Or how do I plug this in? Where's the wire? Or we just call the whole wire with the plug. We call the plug. Uh, Americans do. Uh, okay, Patricia... Why isn't the video working? Okay, why isn't the video working? I... Um, Unplug it earlier and didn't plug in the game. Very good. So when you take the plug out of the socket or outlet, you unplug it. When you push it in, the three prongs, those things sticking out are called prongs. Sometimes they're round, sometimes they're rectangular. They're prongs. You push those into the socket, you plug it in. When you take it out, you unplug it. Very good. Uh, okay, Raphael seems to have left. Olga, what's wrong with this lamp? What's wrong with the lamp? Uh, what's wrong with the lamp? Oh, the bulb. <laughs> Tricky one. Yeah, the bulb works when I switch it on. <laughs> yeah, but something's wrong with it. It's not <laughs> working now. Ah, okay. I don't know. This is tricky. Okay. Yeah, all right. In English, it would be very common for me to say, oh, the bulb went when I switched it on. Sometimes we use the verb go, particularly in the past tense, went, with something, particularly something like a light bulb. Oh, uh, it went. I switched it on. You know how that happens. You turn on a light switch and the bulb goes on for a half a second and then poof, it yeah. stops. Yeah. Well, we say the bulb went. Uh, the bulb uh, went. So sometimes we use went, sometimes went out. The, I could say Saturday morning my electricity went. Well, where did it go? It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> that was the problem. It was, there was no electricity. Oh, my electricity went on Saturday, so I couldn't teach class Saturday morning. All right, went or went out. All right, that's a little bit of a tricky one uh, there. Okay, we also tend to use a lot of phrasal verbs. Uh, so so uh, let's look at some phrasal verbs. Again, fill in the blanks. The main part of the verb is going to be there, put, turn, switch, what is the preposition that we use to create the phrasal verb is the question. Okay. Uh, Hajar. Hajar, number one. Yeah. Uh, remember to put the lights 
Uh, out of off when you go. Out or off uh, when you go. Okay. Put the lights out when you go. Put the lights off when you go. Sure. We also use turn. I, I would never say put out the lights. I would say turn off the lights when you leave. Um, or turn out the lights. Turn out or turn off. Put off, put, up, put out. Uh, any of those would work. Okay. Very good. Uh, Miguel, number two. Uh, could you turn the volume up a bit? I can hear. I can hear anything. All right, turn it up. I want to jam out. I want to dance. Excellent. Uh, do you often turn up the music, Miguel? Uh, yes, when I was when I was alone in home at home. Okay, great. Rock out. Uh, Okay, yeah. Jose, number th number three. Yeah. Okay. Did you remember yeah. to switch uh, on the answer phone before we left uh, the house? Okay. Switch on. Again, very British. Americans would say turn on, usually. Uh, sure. Switch on, switch off, turn on, turn off. Okay, the answer phone, the answering machine, of course, another particular electrical device which we don't really use anymore. Everybody has an answering service. Uh, Jose, when's the last time you saw an answering machine? Uh, the, the last time that I answered the machine, I don't, I, I don't have a, any answer, um, answer machine. Okay. I have never seen an answering machine, or I don't remember the last time I saw I an answering okay. machine. I don't remember the last time. I saw an answering machine. Okay. This would be a very common way to express yeah. the idea. All right. I saw uh, an answer machine. Yeah. Machine. Make sure you... Machine. 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 Yes. It has an SH sound. Uh... Okay, Min, number four. Yes. Mm, can you turn the volume uh, down a bit, please? I'm trying to talk to someone on the phone. Okay. Turn the volume down. All right, again, turn it down, turn it up, turn it on, turn it off. Turn goes with pretty much everything. Sure. Uh, okay, Max. Uh, Max, how about number five? It's not surprising. The toaster isn't working. You haven't plugged it in. It in. You plug, yeah, you plug, you haven't plug plugged it, in. it in. That's right. You have to plug in something. That's electrical in order for it to work. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All right. Let's talk about what is what we call different machines and stuff. Uh, appliances. The electrical equipment you use to help you do jobs around the house, like your washing machine, your refrigerator, uh, these, your kitchen stove, these are appliances. Most household appliances are, another way to think about it, they are things which are powered by a motor. Um, a machine is a general word for any kind of electrical equipment. It can be used for household appliances. Possibly, or for anything else that's uh, basically for a lot of other things. A machine is a, uh, a big word, but it's often used to form the, the word for an appliance, a washing machine, a dishwashing machine. Okay, we don't use it for everything. I don't say a freezing machine or a refrigerating machine. I say a freezer or a fr refrigerator. Uh, machinery, okay, C with the E-R-Y, is a general term which in English we use for talking about industrial machines. I'm never going to talk about machinery in my home. That just wouldn't make any sense at all. Machinery is something that is used in a business, in a factory, in an industrial. Uh, a device is a small, useful machine like your cell phone. 
uh, okay? A gadget is an informal word for a small modern device. All right, so a device is a gadget. Um, sometimes we use a gadget to talk about something that has been invented for one specific purpose or that is recently invented or that is unusual. All right. If you have some kind of gadget that, I don't know, automatically peels and chops garlic into thin slices. Uh, okay, well, that's a gadget. It has a specific purpose. It's not a widely used machine or device, so we would call that a gadget. Uh, okay. Well, let's see if we can complete the sentences using what I have just told you. Uh, what would make sense in these sentences? Uh, okay, Alexander, back to you. The vacuum cleaner is not working. I think there is something wrong with the appliance. Mm. Okay, but this is appliances. Oh. Mm, a vacuum cleaner. Well, okay. Machine. Maker. I don't know. We don't usually call a vacuum cleaner uh, an appliance. Generally speaking, uh, vacuum cleaner would be uh, just household equipment, I guess. Okay, there's something wrong with a what did you say? Sorry. It, you know, it could be a machine or device, I guess. No. Or it could be motor. Motor. Yeah. Keeps making a funny noise. Probably, my guess is it's motor because something's making a funny noise. Usually when your motor is about to die, it makes weird noises. That's, that's my guess. Uh, yeah. See, in English, you know, frankly, we would just, if something's wrong with it, I'm not going to say something, I'm going to say something's wrong with a vacuum cleaner. Maybe it's the motor. Something's wrong with a vacuum cleaner. I'm not going to say something's wrong with this household appliance or this, it's not even an appliance, this household equipment. I'm not going to use some general weird term. I'm going to just say there's something wrong with this vacuum cleaner. What, uh, else, what so, can I say with that thing? Something wrong with that thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, Patricia. You're still here, right? Okay, Patricia, number two. Okay. Uh, most now, nowadays, are effective with a security. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, okay, most cars nowadays are fitted with. That means they come with automatically. If something is fit with, it means something's attached permanently. Uh, if something's fitted into something, it's meant to not be removed. It's not supposed to come out again. So when something's fitted with some, it means means that cars come with this. It's stuck to the car. It's a permanent f fixture of the car. Uh, okay. And here, what you're looking at, a security something of some kind, you're looking at a very strong collocation. Security, what? Security, security, security and machinery. Machinery. Mm, no, this is a very strong lo co-location, a security device. All right. Uh, all the little machines they put in a museum with laser beams and heat sensors and cameras and alarm systems, all of that, all of those things collectively are called security devices. Okay. 
So okay. this is just a very strong co-location. We we just call all the all of that kind of area of electronics security devices. All right. So now you know. Uh, okay, uh, Olga. Number three. Yeah. Uh, we are opening another factory next year, so most of this year's profit will be spent on new ma ma machinery. Okay, SH sound, machinery. Machinery, machinery. That's better, machinery. Yes, that's right. It's in a factory. Definitely. Got to be machinery. Good choice. Good job. Uh, okay, Hajar, how about number four? Okay, he's got a really flashy new car with all the uh, latest. Uh, appli uh, appliances. Probably not. I, I doubt his car comes with a t well, it could come with a TV, but maybe, but a refrigerator? Ah, oh, well, maybe. A dishwasher machine, a washer and dryer, an oven? Could be, but <laughs> probably not. What they're talking about here, a new car, new things, okay, new little electronic things that each has its own specific little task and when you see the latest that's when you see this the newest the latest the most it's a, recent the gadget gadgets if it's new it's probably some kind of a device but it's it's new it probably has one specific purpose most likely gadgets yeah Gadgets. All right. So a car with all kinds of different latest things. It backs up your car for you automatically. It has cameras that you can see what's directly behind your car. Uh, latest gadgets like that. Okay. Uh, Miguel, number five. Uh, it's surprising how much it costs to equip a modern kitchen. Uh, I can see more. I don't know. I can see the the, the entire phrase. Can you see? You are. What are you looking for? Oh, the no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Can you scroll down? Uh huh. Oh, okay. It's surprising how much it costs to equip a modern kitchen. The electrical appliance alone will cost at least two thousand pounds. That's right. So when you're talking appliances, yes, the kitchen is a place you have many appliances. The oven, refrigerator, freezer, dish machine, if you have one. Microwave would probably be considered an electrical appliance. Yes, very good. And we often say uh, kitchen appliances, as a matter of fact. When we say kitchen appliances, we could mean other things like an automatic blender, a coffee machine, a coffee maker, um, a juicer, different things like that. Some people may have. Okay. Great. Jose. Yes. Number six. Sorry, madam. I think this uh, machine is the beyond repair, perhaps you should think of replacing it with a newer model. Okay, so things beyond repair it means beyond it can't be repair, fixed. beyond repair cannot be fixed. So that's a very common phrase to talk about machines or cars, a house could be beyond repair. I think you should just tear it down and build a new house. This house is beyond repair. Okay, uh, common it's phrase. Like, it's like write off. Yeah, well, let's hope it's a write off. Do you know what that means? Literally, if something is a write off. Uh, uh, for it, it can be. Uh, <coughs> and for instance, the house was born and it can be um, uh, used anymore and can be uh, meant. It can be mended. That's right. That that is the that is the meaning. But the 
literal meaning is you can write it off on your taxes. So you can get a tax break. If your house burns down, you can write that into your taxes that you lost your house and that you can subtract the amount of your house from your taxes. Like that. It's a write off. That's literally what it means. And it's sometimes it's used that way. Um, a group of dentists may buy a, a taco restaurant. As a, they know as they're going to they lose, lose money, but they need it as a tax write-off. Uh, Miguel, Miguel, you're, you're, you're echoing quite loudly. Quite loudly. Yeah. 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 Me too. Miguel? Me too. Miguel? Hello? Miguel? Yes? Hi? Hi, hi. You're hi, echoing, hi. You're very, echoing loudly. very loudly. Thank you. Uh, okay. All right, let's look at one more section I think we got time for. When machines don't work. Uh, okay. Choose the correct ending for the following sentences. In this case, we're going to read the first part and choose one of these endings. Breaking down, wrong with it, out of order, good as new, kind of like... It's a write-off or it's beyond repair. All right, so talking about when machines don't work. Patricia, number one. Okay. Uh, we can't use the video record today. Mm -hmm. It isn't... Um, mm, I uh, please I want to see another time. Mm -hmm. I want uh, to okay. read, read, to read another time. Okay, we can't use the video <laughs> recorder today. It is it? Okay. It's in by, um, breaking down. No. Um, it, it isn't. It is not. Out with it. With it. Out. No, out for order. No, if it is not out of order, then that means it is in order. So you have a negative. It isn't. Okay, we can't use it, so I assume it's broken. So it is not that good. Well, no, that doesn't quite fit. It's not as good as new. Um, that would be a weird thing to say, because obviously it's not as good as new. It's not even working. Uh, so it's a little silly to say that. I think the common thing to say is it isn't working. That's it. What's wrong with the TV? It isn't working. Um, I gotta bring my computer to the shop. It's not working, or not working properly. Properly. Okay. This is the most common thing we say when anything electrical is not functioning as it normally should. It isn't working. Okay. Very common. Good one for you to know and memorize. Uh, okay. Uh, Raphael's gone. Uh, Olga's gone. Uh, Hajar, number two. Yeah. Could you have a look at the video? I think there is some things wrong with it. I think there's something wrong with it. Very good. Absolutely. Uh, okay, there's something wrong with it. Another very common phrase. Okay. Could you take a look at the cat? I think there's something wrong with it. Yeah, even that would work. Okay, very good, Hajar. Miguel, number three. 
Yeah, I'm worried about this washing machine. It's making uh, breaking down. Uh, to... uh, no, 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 a, a funny noise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry, sorry, I, I didn't see the, the last. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's that's making it. a funny it's noise. Funny. Very common Very to common. bring your car to the shop. It's, it's, making, a it's making a funny noise. Whenever I Whenever I it goes. It's making a funny noise. I'm sure mechanics are sure all idiots. Idiot. Uh, uh, okay. Jose. Jose. Number yes. four. You can use that phone. It's a uh, brick breaking down. Uh, no. That if it's breaking, it is breaking down. It's somewhere in the process of breaking down, and that would be, okay. or it's commonly breaking it, down. Yeah. It's uh, out of order. There you go. A phone, yeah. a bathroom, anything that's public. We can say it's out of order. Anything. Uh, video game machine. It's out of order. You can't use it now. Uh, okay. Any, usually we use out of order. We even put a sign out of order. Anything that's public. Uh, okay. Ming. Yes. Number five. I'm sick and tired of this old car is keep breaking down. Yeah, it keeps breaking down. Sure. Breakdown is common to use for a car, extremely common. Even uh, in English, I can I can call up work and say I had a, a breakdown. And I don't have to mention car, I don't have to explain any further, I don't have to say I was on the road. I just have to say I'm going to be about an hour late. I had a breakdown. They would know what I meant immediately. They would assume it's the car. However, um, we can use it to talk about other equipment or appliances. My refrigerator broke down and I had to take all my food over to my neighbor's house, for example. would be okay and normal. Uh, all right, last one. Max, number six, final here. I've fixed the washing machine. It's as good as new. All right. When something is fixed, of course, that's overly optimistic, but we commonly say it's as good as new. You can't tell the difference between now and when it was new. All right. As good as new. Uh, Max, when you fix people's uh, electronic equipment, <laughs> is, that, is that what you say? It's as good as new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Every sure it is. Okay, last piece of advice before you guys go, before you try to fix something electrical, please make sure to unplug it. This is very good advice. <laughs> uh, on that note, thank you all very much. That, that doesn't help sometimes. It does when not I, help? <laughs> yeah, when I fix, um, uh, for example, g digital camera, they have some kind of ca capacitor. How can ah, I, uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. And uh, okay. yeah, I have to. I don't know how to explain this. What you I have still to do. <laughs> electrocute yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, stay safe out there with your electrical devices mm. and machines. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.